What's up YouTube, it's Impermanence here, and today I've got a really, really spicy decklist video for you guys. Um, I used this for a pretty early Legend push this season in the uh, Trenchered meta. I think I got Day 4 Legend with this list. Um, I just got back from a ski trip with my girlfriend, so I wasn't able to post it, so this is my take on uh, Aggro Sludge Warlock. So looking at the top decks right now, um, we're in like a hard Trent Druid meta. The game is really decided in the first four to five turns. Um, I'm going to be looking at Diamond 1 through 4 here because I just want this to apply to most people who are on their climb and they're going to be seeing a lot of these decks. So this is a take on Sludge Warlock and a lot of people have been playing it since the start as more of like an OTK build where you would have things like Steam Cleaner and Thaddeus and whatnot to kind of just like spam the board with a ton of barrels of sludge. Uh, the Thaddeus build is fine uh, it's performing pretty well but this is played as like a much quicker paced variant that is actually meant to counter uh, Trenchard. It has like a really really positive win rate versus the deck alongside any other aggro deck in the format whether it's pure paladin, dragon druid, even earthen paladin and you have a very good matchup also versus excavate rogue. If they don't have their combo into Drilly on turn 2-3 you could even rush them down on er as early as turn 5. For the list here I have the two flame imp uh, fracking, Miracle Salesman, and Tram Mechanic. Next up for the two drops, um, we're going to see the Fatigue Package. So we have Baritone Imp, Crescendo. Um, tech choice here was Cult Neophyte. This card went insanely hard for me on the climb. You can drop this versus pretty much any deck, whether it's on curve or you hold it in, it's good. Um, specifically, if we look at like Trenchard, for example, you can play it on curve uh, to stop them from assembling their board. Um, you can play it after their uh, Flower Child turn to stop them from buffing their board afterwards with the uh, Cultivation. It just always feels good in that matchup. Same thing with Pure Paladin. You can play just on curve turn two as soon as you draw it or whenever. As long as you don't have like a priority play before that, which I'll talk about later, it just always feels good. It's especially useful versus Excavate Rogue too, because I'm pretty. I feel like they just like to cast a lot of one mana spells. I don't know, maybe even zero mana spells, and that kind of stops them from having like a huge pop off play there. And then finally, we just got the Disposal Assistant. Just really solid card. You kind of keep this whenever you see it. You could keep this alongside the baritone imp unless you don't have a one drop and moving on to the three drops um i played the location obviously like the main application you would think is going to be on the waste remover and it is but you can also combo this with your sludge on wheels or even like one of your uh, two drops if you really have to for early game tempo for example, if you're playing in the Trent Druid matchup um, and you're trying to clear all of their minions on board so they can't buff them, you can easily just copy your um, any of your two drops here, whether it be one of your three twos or your three three imp, even one of your one drops if you have to. Next we have Furnace Fuel. You can play this if you have to, but you really don't want to. Uh, Sludge on Wheels, probably one of the best cards in the deck. Even if you don't have one drops, you keep this. And Trolley Problem is another really, really insane card in this deck. Um, sometimes you actually... Uh, ironically, you don't even want the quick draw uh, because you actually do want to discard your barrels of sludge. Even when you don't have the barrels of sludge, often the, the discarding doesn't really matter because the card is just that good. Uh, playing this on turn three or even two with coin is just so devastating versus the trench or at most decks in general. Really, really good card on the deck. The four drops. Uh, we're going to have Craze Conductor to round out the fatigue package. This card you don't want to see early, although you can pl as soon as you've played one of the Fatigue cards, this card is already good. Um, because once you've played one Fatigue before this, it's going to summon you two 3-3s. Three, three. So that's basically like the final payoff that we've had with Mischievous Imp in the past, which was already a really good card uh, in the Infused state. And then we have Popgar. This is pretty much like you're using this card to end the game on the spot with an OTK, or you're using this to not die as like a stability play with the healing. Either or, it's good. Just really feels bad to mill with the next card, which is Waste Remover. In some matchups, you can actually just play this on curve and not feel too, too bad about it. You just obviously risk milling cards like Popgar or Symphony, but like having the 7-7 seven, seven that early that's actually able to attack next turn is huge. And going Forge of Wills into Waste Remover is extremely strong. Plus not to mention when, when you're stacking your deck with the other cards like Sludge on Wheels and disposal assistant he's going to be dealing like you on average he'll usually deal eight damage but like it's you'll often have him dealing 12 damage the earliest wins that i've gotten with this deck i would go turn one imp into turn two disposal assistant 
and to turn three sludge on wheels to get another sludge on the bottom and to turn four waste remover to deal four plus already have control of the board that pretty much seals the deal that's come up several times honestly that's pretty much like the god curve for you one piece of advice i will give about this deck um a lot of lists you'll see they'll have a top end of imp king reform this card is the worst card in the deck by far this is like huge like the baitiest bait in the list i played the list i took it and it was it was fun list like i it was appealing to me having like the imp package with reform as like the kind of like win card but like a you could probably just win the game as early as you would play this anyway first of all but like you don't want to have this early first off this feels so horrible to draw a lot of the times you would i would have this infused and i would maybe even only have like two or three imps that have died because this isn't like a like a pure like imp deck as we had in the past and it's not uh, the same even as like the curse imp deck that we had in the past i believe i maybe played i i think i played about 30 40 games with the reform list and i played this card twice one of the times that i played it it summoned three imps but yeah both of those car both of those times i lost i believe i just one of them i played reform and i conceded but it's honestly the worst card in this deck um i cut it for symphony of sin specifically uh this card is really really nice two of the seven movements will deal six damage to your opponent you already have an otk as well as an aggro strategy so playing this on curve is really really uh, nice because you'll have that extra six damage that'll often have just lethal for you not to mention you also have the summon a six six taunt which comboed with forge of wills is really nice um, but even just obviously on its own it's, it's really nice and even the buff movement is really nice having the plus six plus six so good card um, don't keep it but you could definitely play it on curve sometimes you take the draw six when you're kind of running low on gas but Otherwise, it's kind of just like pushing for that extra bit of damage, so it feels good pretty much all the time when you have it. The other change that I made was I cut the Disciple of Sargeras for the Cult Neophyte. Reason being, it slowed down the deck too much. Like, if especially like if you consider that you play this card alongside uh, Rafam, right? But even when you play this card, whether it's infused or not, uh, it doesn't really do enough for you. Like, on paper, it's good. Like, you discard a spell, so obviously you're going to fill up your hand with, like, um, your barrels of sludge. And that's going to deal for while summoning minions. This sounds great, but it's basically the same thing that you already have with Conductor just with the discard a spell the other thing is like the main payoff of this card is like forging it and yeah if you forge it and then you play it it's like it's really nice like having the plus two and taunt really good especially in slower matchups that's really the only time you're actually going to be able to do that is in the slow matchups but like even then they're just gonna have the removal cards anyway because like it's like warrior whatever else right but like in a faster matchup you don't have the time to forge this like turn two there's so many uh better things you could be doing with your mana than forging that card right these, these are big cards that you need to get online asap and especially when you consider games where you have the coin and you have access to your three drops on turn two choosing to forge just sounds less and less appealing and another thing with this card is that it's unlike trolley problem in the sense um that it doesn't give you it doesn't have as good of discard synergy so trolley problem says discard your lowest cost spell period summon two three three tram cars with rush period disciple of sargeras says discard a spell to summon two three two m so if you don't have a spell you don't get your imps whereas when you play trolley problem if you don't have a spell it doesn't matter it just summons them anyway so if you don't actually have a spell with this card it's dead and so you basically can have games where you have a card that's dead um, that you would want to forge on top of that. And then you may or may not have a six drop that relies on your minions uh, being played and dying in your hand as well. So it's just, it didn't feel as good um, versus Neophyte especially. Mulligan wise, um, you always want to have a one drop, a playable one drop. So not fracking. Uh, fracking is really, really good, but you don't want to have it uh, turn one because it's like only once you've stacked the bottom with uh, one or two barrels of sludge does it become good. You always want to see either a flame imp, a miracle salesman, or a tram mechanic uh, in your opening hand. Um, 
you'll always want to keep a baritone imp if you see it because not only is it going to get your fatigue package started early but it's a good body another keep that you would want is your disposal assistant just because it's going to be stacking your deck for like the big blowout play you would only consider keeping neophyte in the rogue matchup otherwise it's just a really good card to draw but even in that matchup you you can only keep it if you already have a playable one drop and you already have a playable two drop always keep sludge on wheels um just because it's both like board control it's it's a big booty uh trades really well and it stacks your deck with sludge and um you could in certain matchups you could keep the pop guard this would honestly be in like some of the slower matchups like if you're playing against a control warrior or something where the game might play out a little bit longer like maybe turns eight to ten you could keep the pop guard and hold on to it just to build up a big burst hand the one situation where you could keep waste remover it doesn't come up often but it would be if you have the coin playable one drop disposal assistant and or sludge on wheels then you could keep waste remover and then you pretty much just win that game on the spot but otherwise you don't keep waste remover so yeah guys it's a high key sleeper deck in this format it's very very strong into the top decks and um yeah, it's really fun to play, honestly. It plays as fast aggro, and you have like a bit of an OTK potential as well. Um, shout out to Vicious Syndicate, whose site I've been using in this video uh, with the rankings. Uh, this is their uh, part of their um, regular data report where they rank the, the metagame, all the decks that are being played, and this is part of their power ranking. So Diamond 1 to 4, I'm looking at for this video again. Um, this deck doesn't come up on HS Replay, this, so there's not enough data for that, uh, so I don't really have like the regular stats and whatnot to show you guys. Yeah guys, thanks for watching, um, best of luck in your games versus Druid this season, uh, remember to like and subscribe to the video, and uh, following me on Twitter, at ImpermanenceHS, have a good one. Yeah, so this is Big Keep, the rest don't really care. So this is like a really awkward opening. Um, yeah, I don't want to pitch my crescendo off the trolley problem, so I could just... Or do I? Yeah. I play this here, and then turn two, I can clear any trends that he develops with crescendo. And then turn three... I have the option to either go, I'll probably go sludge on wheels actually instead to trade and then I'll have a sludge that I can pitch off the trolley problem. Preferably I could generate two to make it only a 33% chance of actually sending the other trolley problem. Oh, that's a nice crescendo, actually. It's fine to play too, because if I don't play it, I it gets discarded anyway. Not bad, play that, dude. And if this dies, I just play Trolley Problem for free. Which it will.
So he definitely has cultivation now. I, I want to be able to discard my sludges for that extra damage on his big minions. So play him. Keep going, face. Should have three sludge in hand next turn, so the trolley could be pretty huge. Deal four, summon two three threes. his board uh, for the obvious cultivation next turn and it seems like he doesn't have too much gas left unless he has the draw spell there um, but I break this board pretty easy so I'm not too too concerned so Charlie is gonna pitch the barrel of sludge guaranteed now I get the three threes and yeah I might as well summon this And at this point in the game, if I pretty much once I draw to Popgar or a Waste Remover, it's pretty much just GG. And with three Fatigue already taken, I believe Craze Conductor is also just GG. three trents for one less mana like he could have just played four trents and then have that infused but there's the waste remover so that's kind of cool um, play him play this 